Welcome to Main FM Pong Presents Books and Booze with Banshee and this guy, Deezy. What's up? So today we are going to review a sci-fi fantasy fairy tale reimagining and it is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. What's up, Marissa? Here on Books and Booze, Deezy and the Banshee always like to start things off with a shot. Hashtag any reason to drink. Here's what happened. Tell them what happened, DZ. We tried to theme our drinks according to the book. That's why you see Blue Moon. The book Cinder has a lot to do with the lunar race, which is a race of humans that lived on the moon for hundreds of years, and now they got superpowers. Got wheelers on the moon. And we also like to start our show with a shot, and we thought we had moon shine, shine. but we don't have it. Yeah, we thought we had random garage moonshine, but it turns out no. So we don't know if like finally we threw that away or someone drank it at a party, but turns out no, there's no moonshine in the garage. This is tequila. We found this in the cupboard. It looks cool, huh? We don't know who brought it. Casamigos. Casamigos. We're going to pretend it's moonshine, so bear oh with God, us. Oh God, it's going to be fucking gross. Tequila's called Naked Juice, where I'm from. Um. Oh. Uh, uh, me. Let's shoot this. Oh, God. Is this a double or a Yeah, right? I'm about to sneeze with this. Oh, God. I can't. I can't even take half of it. God. God. Uh, I can't. He's still going. Woo! That shit's crazy. Sissy. I am, dude. Let's start off with the obvious point in Cinder. The coolest thing about Cinder is that it's a Cinderella retelling. What What's the major thing that you, you learn about Cinderella? Rags to riches yeah. and she loses her glass slipper. Yeah, that's, yeah. So I don't really need to tell you this. It's kind of on the front of the book, so this isn't a spoiler. Not that, P.S., if you've never watched this show before, spoiler That's alert. all we do is get drunk and spoil. And talk about shit, exactly. Yeah. The major kind of thing, cool thing about this book is that um, instead of losing a shoe, Cinder is a cyborg and this bitch loses her cybernetic foot. So her foot is a robot foot and her hand yeah. is a robot hand. Mm -hmm. so, she's yeah. like, and part of her like eyesight, uh, part oh, of yeah, her, her brain. Oh her interface. Her, she yeah. has like a cybernetic uh, interface in her brain. So she's, she's half cyborg, half human. She's a cyborg. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> in the lunar world, this is kind of in the future, it's kind of like, I guess, dystopian, but it's more like Apoc fantasy. Almost apocalyptic. Yeah. No, not apocalyptic. Dystopian. Is yeah, the dystopian word. is the yeah, word. word. In the future, in New Beijing is a empire. That's where this is set. It's kind of set in lunar, uh, or um, on the moon, which is lunar. And then also um, New Beijing. And the prince, Cinderella's prince, is actually heir to the empire, and his he is Prince Kai. And Which everybody loves, by the mm -hmm. way. The whole world is infatuated yep. by this guy. Mm -hmm. He's sexy. Cyborgs are like third class citizens. Yes. So long story short, you if you are a cyborg right away, people are like, ugh, really? They're basically, they're almost like servants and what, stuff. What it is is, and I remember this line, it's been a while since we read it, but because they were given a second chance at life, they're like, have a debt to pay to society. Mm -hmm. And that's actually in the book, so they're kind of treated as like, mm -hmm. like since they're lucky to be alive, they're, they're like servants and they work all the jobs no one else wants and nobody likes them, respects them. That's pretty much the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. So you got Cinder, you know, she is owned by her stepmother, like owned, I guess, by her stepmother. Um, she has two stepsisters because this is Cinderella, you gotta keep some Cinderella in there. They made some bold choices in this book. One of the one of my favorite bold choices that they make on the play on Cinderella is that instead of being like all Cinderella's best perfect, like perfect beautiful fairy godmother put together self, when Cinder shows up to her ball, she is a hot fucking mess. Yeah. She yeah. is not perfect. She got like grease stained gloves because she's a mechanic. Uh, her hair's all wet and shit, and her cyborg foot is too small. At the beginning of the book, you find out she's saving to get a cyborg foot that fits. A new foot, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's too small, so it's too tight. Oh yeah, her foot is like what? Her foot is like 11 mm -hmm. years old, and she's yeah. 10. 
Yeah. And she's like 16 or something like that. So you know that scene in Cinderella where, or Ever After or whatever, where they basically take her mom's dress or whatever and any version of Cinderella and they won't let her have it and they rip it up or whatever and then the fairy god her, godmother gives her a new one? So there's not really a fairy godmother, I guess, I go? Uh... I don't know. It's probably the one element that's not in it. Yeah. Instead of taking away her dress, they take away her new foot that actually mm -hmm. fits. Um, Cause her stepmom's like, you, I, uh, I own you, so I get all your money. Oh whatever. yeah, she. I guess she, yeah. she had money. She was hiding it. When the stepmother found out about it, she was like, no, you owe me that money for that foot. I didn't tell you to get that mm -hmm. foot. So she pretty much took her foot. There are some bold choices they make in the series as a whole. One of the bolder choices is that they make Snow White black. Yeah, but we don't find out about that to the end. Winter's probably, I love Winter a lot. She might be the, well, between her and Cress, those are the only two. Yeah. For me. Cress is a the only hero girl, in like in the hacker. Yeah. Um, Scarlet hey, is Scarlet. Red Riding Hood. And she basically falls for the big bad wolf, who's yeah. supposed to be the villain. So just a lot of bold choices that they make in this, in this series. So I like that it's not a literal retelling. It's not. Most reimaginings are like literal. They just change the basic elements. So instead of being in the past in England, you know, or wherever that they're set, you know, they'll put it in the future, but it'll follow exactly everything else the same. This is the only version of Cinderella where Cinderella is not perfect at the ball that I've read. So basically what we got is in the future, there is a plague called Letamosis or blue fever in that what it was. And a bunch of people are dying from it. Basically, the lunar people are saying they're immune and they are claiming they have a cure. In order to get the cure, Queen Lavana, who is- With your wicked. She is the evil queen from Snow White, but she is there's four books and she is the evil queen from the whole over the whole series. Yeah. So she's the villain over the whole series. Adri is the wicked stepmother. Wicked stepmother is typically the villain in um, in Cinderella, but let's face it, as a, as a villain goes, she's kind of soft. Even though she is bad, she's not really the villain, the overlying villain. The evil queen from Snow White is the villain, she's the villain in the, the whole she's series. The whole, she's the she's yes. main girl. So she is basically manipulating Prince Kai into marrying her so that she could basically take over the world, starting with New Beijing, one of the major powers. You know what I like about that? That's kind of funny how in these dystopian futures, you notice how United it's always States is never Asian? It's always Asian, like uh, Firefly. England. Yeah. Every, every single, in every dystopian yep. future, everything I've ever seen, the United States is Not always everything. Almost everything. United States A is lot nothing. Of them. It's either yeah. England's still there. Japan is still there, and all the anime Japan is still there. Obviously. Makes sense though, because those are the, like the leading technology. It's kind of cool. even Africa's there in some of these dystopian futures. But, but America's what I, there. you know, we talked, we've talked about diversity on this show before, but right away I like it because Prince Kai is right away Asian, and that's hundred percent. You don't get that a lot. You don't get. I mean, Eleanor and Park, obviously. There's some major YA series where you get like an Asian uh, main character, but that is. To, to right away start off with that is cool. I mean, granted... Isn't he supposed to be half? Didn't they mention I don't something know. about his mother or something like I don't that? know. But don't either know. way, the middle ones are all white. Yeah. And then Snow White at the end. So, yeah, I think that the majority of the characters are... They're white. They're well, white. I think Cinder is half. Cinder's white. I don't know. She's they always draw her, like, kind of Asian. -like. Really? I, yeah. They never hinted at it. Um... But everybody else, everybody else in, in Cinder is Asian. So, um, I kind of, you know, we love that. We love when they throw diversity in there. Oh, I uh, but I like that even though I feel like still the majority of the cast is freaking Caucasian, at least two of the main characters are diverse. I've never had a problem with like, I mean, if there's a bunch of white guys and white girls in a cast, I've never had a lot of big problem because with it. Because he's a black guy who hangs out with a bunch of white people. That's not, it's just, I like to throw a cup, sprinkle and make it real. Mm -hmm. In a he group only of ten knows guys, black people in his life. In a in a group of ten people, to say that they're not one of them's not of color is kind of weird. So I mean, I don't care if it's like a bunch of people; they never bother me. But mm -hmm. you gotta have you gotta be realistic. So you gotta have some color in yeah, there. Yeah, so you gotta I'm, have like at least two. I, you don't have to make like everybody black to make me happy, but just sprinkle a few in there. That's all. Yeah, I'm exactly. So they got the they got the disease, and that's basically the whole underlying like over the, all four books is. 
How are we gonna get rid of this plague so it doesn't kill everybody? Okay. And the and the true heir to the lunar throne. Yep. It's kind of the other thing. So Lavanya, Lavana, I keep calling her Lavanya. I'm probably gonna do it a hundred times. Whatever. Is the evil? You know, she's the evil queen. So she is the stepmom of a believed to be dead princess who's supposed to be the ruler of lunar or lunar or whatever the moon. Uh, but she was believed dead in nursery fire. The Lunar have this really cool ability where they're kind of beat, but when you look at them, they're so beautiful. So they don't like mirrors. Like if you're in a room with the Lunar, all the mirrors are covered up. Mm -hmm. They don't like to be photographed unless they can control the image because they project on you. They manipulate your mind basically and project on you that they're the most beautiful person in the world. They're all Professor Xavier's pretty much. Which kind of when you get to the Snow White thing, you know, makes sense that Lavana's like mirror mirror on the wall. You know what I mean? Basically, you got Prince Kai. He didn't want to marry Lavana because that woman be evil. And also because the Lunar, they already have too much power. So his father is dying of letimosis and he wants to find a cure. So how he meets Cinder, she's a mechanic at like kind of like a fucking swap meet or a it's street exactly fair like or some a, shit strip, like yeah, that. Yeah, some kind of dystopian Bizarre. whatever thing. Yes. He takes an android to meet her because the android is not working anymore and it has um, some information about that going on in there. He tells her, oh, um, this is Nancy and she was my nanny android when I was a kid. Obvious. So it to, is I mean, it is. Nostalgic to get or whatever. Blah, blah. Nobody believes that shit, Kai. What the fuck? Come up with something better. At least be stuff. like, at least be like, oh, this thing has, um, I don't know. Some government secrets. Why are you gonna fucking lie, man? Porn. Like, just be like porn. Yeah, dude, just be like porn. There you go. Nobody's gonna question you on porn. Yeah. So pretty much, she could fix. You know, she was fucked up. She's an engineer genius. She fixes the cyborg. Oh god, she oh god. She learns about about the hidden stuff too. She ends up seeing it on there, and that's how she finds out about Crest because Crest answers the call, and we'll get into Crest later. Crest is essentially Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Yeah. But, um, I mean, that's pretty much it, yes. really, in that story. Fast forward, long story short, Cinderella's stepsister, the one she likes. You know how there's always kind of one nicer one in Cinderella? She actually likes one of her sisters. Yeah. They're not one both of them's jerks. always bitchy, and then there's one of them who's kind of still a spoiled brat, but, like, nice to Cinder, so it's cool, you know? And so she's got that one. She basically gets Letimosis and dies. Mm -hmm. The mom gets mad, and nominates cinder for this program this android study to try to find the cure turns out cinder's immune because we don't know she's lunar at that point but she is but she is dun, dun, dun. so they try to do some study on her to come up with um the cure for that shit in this time also kai and cinder kind of get a relationship and you know what's kind of funny about this story it's not overly romantic like cinderella it's is it's not but it's the same Oh, I'm so ugly. No man wants but me. I'm it's, unattractive. It's and then the hottest true. dude in the world finds his ugly chick unattractive. It's true. But even, I mean, essentially, this is the wrap of, of the Cinderella story. And spoiler alert, again, they ain't together at the end. And it's kind of just more like a, it's not even so much, I love this girl, I met this girl, and I love her. It's more of a, sense. I really don't want to marry this other bitch. And this girl's normal. She's kind of cool. Whatever. She seems not super girly and not trying to bang me all the time like every other girl in the world so that's kind of cool. But she's clearly cool. in love with him though. She's clearly in love you with him but she's still kind of cool. she's clearly in love with him. I think that the whole and he doesn't know she's a cyborg. She keeps that shit hidden with gloves and like pants. Yeah. But he knows she's a hot mess and I think that she's just different and this dude could probably bang any chick he wants to. He likes different. And basically anybody's better than Lavana. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's circumstantial. I don't know. I just feel like it's not its not overly romantic. It's not. I think the sci-fi takes precedence over the romance, which is why I think you liked it, because this book, DZ, actually read before me. Now, yes. granted, I had already had it downloaded, because if you were in the young adult community, people would be talking about Cinder all the time. Yeah. Right? Cinder's a good one. Yeah. It's, a, it's one of the major series. I didn't have... It was a good book. I mean, it wasn't yeah. bad. It was a quick read. It was entertaining. This one was a quick read, but by the time you get to winter, 
Which is the fourth book, by the way. Because here's the thing. This book is in C mostly Cinder's POV and Kai's POV. Mm -hmm. Book two, you still get Cinder and Kai, but then you get Scarlet and Wolf. Mm -hmm. Book three, you add two more people. They keep going in POVs. Book four, you add three more people. So by the time you get to winter, there are nine POVs going on. Mm -hmm. So long story short, that is a 900-page book, and it's long mm -hmm. as fuck. So um, let's dreamcast this shit. I mean, this might be just because I just saw Star Wars, but Cinder to me is Daisy Ridley. Um, Ray. Ray? No, Ray's yeah, too cute. Yeah, dude. Ray's too cute to be Cinder. What? Cinder's cute? Nah, Cinder's very I totally see book. Daisy Ridley as uh, Cinder. And you know who I think would be a good Kai? Who? The guy that is from um, Power Rangers. Which guy? From the uh, new one? Yeah. I'm going to disagree on Ray. And I'm going to say. Ludi Lin. That's his name. Mm -hmm. The chick from Twilight should be uh, Cinder. She looks like Ew. That's what she looks like to me. In my head, that's what she looks like to me. No. That's what she looks like. For Lavana, I say Adelaide Cade from Rain. Who's that? I don't know, but that's my that's my Lavana. Because okay. I think she's very regal and she's like no. she's pretty, but what's, she's what's her name? Uh the the chick from um knocked up. Grace Catherine Man. Heigl? Yeah. Ew! No! She's, we have different visions of this totally book for real. Dr. Erland, I say David Thewlis, who is Professor Lupin from Harry Potter. Just because. Okay. For Adri, I say Lucy Liu. What about the little advisor, Torin, or whatever, the king's advisor? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Torin could be. I feel like he's got to be Asian, Super. too. I mean, just for diversity. I'd yeah. probably make him something else. I don't know. Let's make him like Jackie Chan or something. <laughs> Or like, um, oh, what's man. that dude from fucking Lost? The dude that was Jin. He don't have to be Asian. What the fuck? Well, only because, That's only, like, here's okay, the thing, sorry. because remember, it's dystopian future, but they don't really say everyone's Asian there. They just say it's the Eastern That's Kano. true. So That's it true. Could be, it could be anything. It could be. New Beijing yeah. or whatever. Yeah, totally. So you can, you could be anybody. Yeah. All right, man. Rate this motherfucker. Uh, I like this book. I suggested I like it to it. Megan. There's things that I don't like about it, and I, I can I'll touch on it a little bit. It's just I don't like how the story ends up playing out for Cinder because I feel like she's like everything. Like there's so many parts and moving mm -hmm. parts in this book. It's everything, like, all roads kind of lead back to Cinder. It's kind of like when you're watching Harry Potter and it turns out that every single person is fucking Voldemort. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Somehow it's Voldemort. <laughs> like, oh, girls, Voldemort. Oh, it's Tom Riddle is Voldemort. Oh, fucking every single person turns out to be Voldemort. Every single person turns out to be Cinder. I feel like, you yeah. know, she's Luna. She's a cyborg. She's got all these crazy powers. She's super kind of overpowered. So I'll give it a, what was it, out of five? Oh my god, DZ never remembers the rating system on his own show! I'm gonna give this one, because, and I'm gonna give it a four. Because I liked it. <coughs> it's almost perfect. I liked it, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's future uh, sci-fi, it's fantasy. I'll give it a four out of five. I give it a four out of five as well. There we go. Four out of five. Uh, and the only reason I give it a 4 out of 5, I don't mind Lunar being fucking everything as much as he does, although it is weird. But the reason I give it a 4 out of 5 versus a 5 out of 5 is because, honestly, there were parts of it that are boring. Mm. Honestly, like, I mean, I'm a girl. I want to see a little bit more fucking Prince, Prince Kai, Cinder, fucking romance. Anything else you want to say about it? That's it. Go check it out. You should read it. Leave comments. Tell it's pretty tell what family friendly too. Yeah, you can read this. If you got, I think, if a father had a teenage daughter, this would be a book they can both read and talk about. So yes. it's not too kidsy, but it's not too adult either. So yeah. I recommend this book. I feel like to, it's the perfect blend of fantasy fairy tale sci-fi yeah without it being too mm -hmm. over the edge this is a yep. this is a nice family read i suggest it let me know what you guys think because this is my future so let me know yes i think that's it that's it i feel like we should chug the rest of these beers i know we've been nursing it i'm almost I know. done i'm not Shh. all right goodbye everybody exactly exactly Mm. Thank you for joining us at Books and Booze with Banshee and Deezy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.